What's up, everybody? My name is Nickerson. Thanks for coming back to my channel for another 30 days of Halloween. That's good for bloopers. That, oh, no, so no, keep it going. Keep it. I'm saying they get ready for like the, the fist bump and shit. Okay, that's fine. You want to do it on that or the fist bump? Um, we can do it on that. All right. No, this, no, 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 no. This whole part's gonna be in the video. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, no, I'm not. What's up, everybody? My name is Nickerson. Thanks for coming back to my channel for another 30 days of Halloween. So tonight's episode of Nickerson is going to be brought by letter M from Mayhem. Mayhem. You heard it here from the champ, the reigning champ of the videos, Mumble Raz. What's up, brother? Nothing, buddy. How you been? Pretty good. Same, different day, right? Right. Same old, no. same old. So, as you've seen in the title, today we're talking about Halloween 4. And Halloween 4 is... A controversial one of the series. It's controversial. There's a lot of people who don't didn't like it when it came out. Just like there is, you know, any sequels, they always, you know, they have a bunch of haters. So I'm a hardcore Halloween person. I've seen them all multiple times. Overall, I see why they like some people didn't like Halloween four. Yeah. But I loved it. Like I, I love the vibe they went into. I thought the whole the whole part of like the little girl who was related to him having visions of him stalking her before it happened was like so cool yeah the, I agree. and oh man like this movie like again i understand why people didn't like it. there's a few mo movie errors i notice every time i watch it and you know like the, i get it but overall i think it's a good halloween vibe yeah do you like it you just saw it what do you think yeah i i enjoyed it um so the only, only thing I would probably uh, nitpick is probably like his his mask. I was like, who is this? Is this Michael Myers' like Asian cousin? Like, who <laughs> is this? Oh, that's funny. Yeah, his mask was different in this one. His It's funny you said that because um, that was one of the complaints that like, yeah. some people were like, oh, we don't like the mask. It was like, it looked a little cheaper than the original. Like, I get it, but I, I thought the mask looked cool, and I'm pretty... Pretty sure I didn't. I didn't research it before the video, but I'm pretty sure he has m different masks throughout that movie. Like, uh, not. I don't know if it's like you know, it's not like ten, but I think there's. I think there's a couple different ones between him and the visions, yeah. Like her, her visions, and um, obviously, you know, him in actuality in the movie. I uh, I love Halloween for like, it really gets me in the mood for Halloween. You know, October. It's a, it's an October essential for it, it, out of all the Halloweens. Regardless of which one you like best, I still think it is definitely one of the better ones to watch around the Halloween season. It's got that real Halloween vibe that starts out. You know, she's in a costume store. Yeah. And whatnot. Like, it gives you the whole vibe. What do you think compared to... Cause so, we watched, you know, one, two, and three before. What do you think of it compared to... So let's say one. The OG. Um, I think I would... If you put a gun to my head, or in this case, you know, a knife, I think I would probably have to lean towards one, but it... It's tough. They're like right there. They're like yeah? pretty pretty close. Just um dude, that's the, the that, opening scene for the first one is just like not, nothing can top that, you know. Yeah. Yeah. That's interesting you said that. I'm I'm glad you liked it that much. I I'm I'm up there. Like yeah. I, I I love Halloween 4. And um it's good to know you like it just like neck and neck with the OG one. Like like I always say with the series, it's hard to really the sequels are always, you know, no matter how good they are, it's like the OG one started it all. Yeah. So you just naturally think like it's 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 better in a way, and because it yeah. invented it, you know, like and then everything else is a. But yeah, ha Halloween Four it was awesome. The mask was different for sure, and I'd like to add this for all you Halloween fans out there. If you didn't know this, Halloween was actually supposed to be originally a standalone movie series. Every ha Halloween 1, Halloween 2, Halloween 3 would be all different stories. Kind of like Creep Show or Black Mirror, you know, for the the younger, newer crowd. <laughs> um and so what happened was in the first one came out, it was the story of Michael Myers, a psycho. That's why it was kind of vague and mysterious, the story. It was going to be like that every time. Yeah. And people loved Michael Myers so much. They're like, okay, we'll do Halloween 2 with Michael Myers also. Yeah. And uh, which is also the same night. 
it's the same night as the first one. So it's they're really they're they're really kind of the same movie in a way. He was a busy boy. Yeah, <laughs> and then Halloween three was interesting because they're like, okay, we did another one for Michael Myers. Now we're gonna do standalone, but it was way too fucking late for that. You already <laughs> built up this amazing, instantly iconic character, dark villain type of, you know aura that he has he has something that nobody else has like you, anyone who's talked about horror movies like they've seen at least two or three halloween yeah right so they built up this guy two movies and then in three it was a completely different story and people were like boo you suck right <laughs> halloween three get out <laughs> get on out i will say if it did if it like halloween three is a whole different thing it's it's not michael myers literally a completely different story so it, it was cool in its own way, but it's not as good as the others. Then that's why. So Halloween Four is quite literally called the Return of Michael Myers. Like, so so if anyone saw Halloween Three, they're like Halloween Four. No, I remember Halloween Three. They're like, but it's the Return of Michael Myers. <laughs> you know, remember the yep. guy you liked? We got you back. We're coming, but we're cool again, right? <laughs> right. Yep. We, we the return. Okay, we blow it. We get it. All right, we're doing the best we can. The Return of Michael Myers. That's why yep. they called it that. Because everyone lost faith after Halloween Three came out. Yeah. Like, and I don't oh, blame here him. we go. Yeah. I don't blame him. Like if I was, you know, of you know, not not a little kid when they came out, or a, you know, I wasn't even alive when the first one came out. <laughs> yeah. But Just if I had watched thought. them as like an adult, starting with one through, like I would have been in the the movie theater halfway through Halloween Three and be like. <laughs> I smell some bullshit. <laughs> but the way I grew up was um, one of my buddies, he had said that um, Halloween 3 was different and it wasn't as good. So I got the I got the, the info, the deets, yeah. you know, like before I saw it. So I went into it and I was like, okay, I'm just going to try and enjoy it as its own movie. Yeah. You know, so... That was just a cool story behind Halloween. They were they were originally supposed to be standalone, like Twilight Zone, Black Mirror, like all that kind of stuff. Which yeah. you know, I really liked it. Did, you know, I thought was uh, pretty wild about that movie is like they're, they're going along and they pretty much mentioned how Michael Myers took out the whole police force for his hometown, and I'm just like, damn, dude. Yeah. And like any typical like small town movie like that. There's always some guy named Earl who's got a shotgun, and he's gonna be the new police force. Right. Him and six, six of his uh, his his buddies. Yeah, dude, right. And um, another thing that was cool about that was in Halloween Four, Michael's at the um, the the power plant, and yep. he throws someone into the power, and the whole town loses power. I was like, that's that's cool. Like especially yeah. back then, this is pre cell phone kids. Like if your phones were out at home. You couldn't reach anybody. Neither could anyone else. It was straight up. If you had no phone, no power, and they cut the lines, like, that was it. So uh, the power's out in the town. I thought that was an awesome detail because it's like, oh, now there's no lights. It's, it's, there's an excuse for it to be dark everywhere. You yeah. Know? I was like, that was a nice detail. You know, he took out yeah. the cops. He killed the power. Because you thought he was just there. You didn't You didn't realize it. Like, he, it, at first, you're like, oh, he just kills this guy by throwing him on there. Then when it, the whole po- town goes on, you're like, oh, shit, that's why he was there. He was going to take out the power. And someone just was like, I volunteer. Throw yeah. me into the electricity. <laughs> the volunteer is tribute. <laughs> throw me into 900,000 volts yeah. or whatever the, you know, denomination is. That's the strongest, right? But uh, yeah, it it has its own vibe. It was cool. I think the I think the best kill in that movie, I won't say who, but he gets a shot. He acquires a shotgun, and no, 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 don't worry. Michael Myers doesn't shoot people. You're right. He takes the shotgun and he impales this person right onto the wall. <laughs> like he had a gun and he <laughs> uses it as like a, a dull like. <laughs> <laughs> impaling instrument and I was just like oh cool that's when I was like oh am I not gonna like this movie is he gonna shoot some-? nope <laughs> he didn't he, yeah. he, impaled, he impaled that he's person. like I wanna show off these gains I'm not gonna just I'm not gonna shoot this person yeah for real forgot to li- light the candle you know shit happens alright we're getting a little distracted with arguably I'd say one of the best Halloween movies overall yeah so far I, w- I would say it's, it's definitely definitely up there and yeah if you don't know, Mumbo's up to five right now. We're going to have them all, all caught up as soon as possible. This October, for sure. Especially, Sweet. you know, 2020. You know, it's a shit year. 
You know, yeah. if all goes to shit, guess yeah. what? We're gonna have need to have watched all the Halloweens, and then then if everything goes down, you're like, I'm gonna die, and you're like, remember that part in Halloween Four? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you know, I, I, again. I get the complaints about it. I thought it was great. I mean, I don't even, especially like I kind of, if, if I hear something's bad, I go into the movie with like kind of like a little credit for him. I'm like, all right, all right. I'm going into it. I'm not expecting a lot. And I feel like that like helps out my opinion of it because it's yeah. like, okay, all right, it's a trash movie. Let me judge it as a trash movie. Yeah. <laughs> like I, I was briefed, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Like, and I feel like it's, it's the same where if, um, if someone over like talking about it's happened so many times some of my friends even some of my friends who I trust with uh, like movie recommendations they'll be uh, they'll be like oh this movie's so good oh, blah 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 so fucking good you gotta watch it so good it's the best movie ever and I was like alright dude and I'll get around to it eventually and uh, then it's overhyped so it works on both ends it's like don't tell me a movie's <laughs> super awesome unless you think I really think it's gonna be super awesome cause like like because if you say that movie's super awesome and it's not, my opinion of you goes down. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's, it's like, okay, next time you say something super awesome, I'm going to be like, okay, it sucks. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, you know, relax. Just be like, hey, you should check out this movie. It's pretty good. And I'll be like, okay, it's pretty good. And then if it's awesome, I'll be like, dude, that movie's awesome. You right. know? And I'll be like, ha, see, it wasn't pretty good. And I'll be like, got him. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Um, so you so what do you how do you, you compare it to one and neck and neck so I didn't even I don't even remember if I asked you and if I did in one of these videos what do you like better one or two since we're on Halloween yeah you know, we're gonna talk about any Halloween video we gotta talk about all of them at least a little you know um, I'd say you know aside from that that killer opening scene of one mm -hmm. I would probably give it I'd probably give it to two again it's it's like Really right. close. I feel like anybody like so. Right I, now, you're at two, one, four, and then way down three. <laughs> yeah, like way down, yeah, like yeah. like all the way down to China, and then yeah. probably a little further. Yeah. That, like that. It's far actually down. in space, out the other side. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, all right. That's good to know. Good to know. Uh, yeah, I have to say, my favorite is not going to be mentioned in this Halloween video. Maybe the next. <laughs> Got him! Oh, you tease. <laughs> oh, I am a little bit of a tease, aren't I? <laughs> no, I'll, I'll bring it up the next the next Halloween video or the next... One of the next two. You have to stay tuned. I'll, I'll let you know. But I'll say Halloween 4 is up there. If you can include all the new shit. You know, 2018 wasn't bad. Yeah. I, did, I didn't mind it. And you, you know what um, they said? They said that's a, supposed to be the official Halloween 2 now. They said that that's what it was. They said it, that's supposed to be Halloween too. It's all sorts of craziness, but it's a good yeah. movie. Yeah, yeah, I, it was good. Uh, um, it was way better than the Rob Zombie ones. I'm sorry, I'm I'm not a huge fan of those. Um, you know, no no disrespect if you like them. I just I didn't like them. I like the OG ones. I think yep. six was probably the last one I was like super into. And then there's you know there's people older than me who experienced it live and they'll be like oh I didn't like I only liked one and two yeah that's like the you know the if you if you grew up along the lines of watching them I, I guess I get it yeah but when it, when they're all old you kind of judge them differently yeah then if you you know what I'm saying like yeah. if you experience it now you're hype and you get let down you know what I mean like live that's different but um yeah overall I, I, I loved I loved four I have to say Halloween four is in the um Top three movies of this series that sets the Halloween mood, I'd say. Yeah. Not top three best <laughs> of the 30 Days of Halloween, but it's a top three yeah, mo just mood Yeah, just in that franchise. The, the, yeah. the feeling of Halloween is very present. Not yeah. just not the scary. The scary was good. How, how, how scary did you think it was? Like, you know? Um, you there there the was scary? definitely some points where, like, you're sitting, in the, like you're, you're sitting there watching the movie and, like, We'll just say, like, Nickerson is the person you're like, oh, my God, he's right there. Oh, my God, he's going to kill him. Like, you just, like, certain, you watch horror movies, you just kind of know this person's fucked. Or, there he is right over there. I just saw that little, little, like, little hairline. You're like, I see him. Got him. You know? <laughs> yes. Oh, man. So, overall, you liked it? Yeah. I really enjoyed it. Awesome, yeah. I'm glad you liked it. It's, uh, again, it's a classic, you know? Yeah. I feel like even the people who said back in the day they didn't like it, I feel like if I watch it with them, I'm like, come on, that was sick, right? And they'll be like, yeah. that was kind of sick. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, had to do Halloween 4. It's um, 
you know, one of the best movies they could have done for the third days of Halloween. I'm really honestly curious. What did you think of Halloween 4? Especially if you've watched a lot of the Halloween movies. What did you think about Halloween 4? What's your favorite Halloween movie? Or what's another horror movie you like for the 30 days of Halloween? Let us know. We will watch and review it for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm going to send a big thanks to the Mumbo King, Mumbo Raz. And thanks again for watching. We will see you on the next one. Thanks again. Derpity derp. <laughs> Dude, was it me?